everyone and welcome back to Southern Hobbies. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hornby's 2020 range Class 92 in the Caldonian Sleeper livery. And when I say 2020 range, this isn't a brand new tooling, it's just a model they've re-released for this year. Anyway, this is one of Hornby's cheaper products. It comes in at £85 on Hornby's website, but you can get this cheaper elsewhere. I got mine from Rouser Sheffield, the same place I actually got my uh, Class 66 from. But the difference between that and this is that this is a brand new model and my 66 was second hand. So... I might do a video soon showing the comparison between second hand but more expensive and brand new and cheaper just to see what you think is worth your money. Anyway, this model comes with two working pantographs. I don't think they actually draw electricity though. And other than that, that's really about it for features on this local other than it has working lights but doesn't have tail lights. Um, this loco is DCC ready, it needs an 8 pin decoder. Um, I am planning to upgrade to DCC at some point, but obviously not now, so it doesn't have a decoder fitted. Um, main positives about this logo, the paint job is very well applied. The mechanism is alright, but as this is, it, this is a cheaper logo, it's got a cheaper motor in it, which likes to run at more high speeds and slower speeds, so if you are a proper modeler, a lot of people will tell you not to buy this logo. But if you're like me, you just want something that looks fun on the layout, well on the track, can't really call it a layout yet, this is this is good for you. Okay, so this is what the end of the loco looks like. It's got a coupling at the bottom, normal buffers, they aren't sprung, and it's got the pantograph at the top. Also, like I said, it has working lights, and they are quite bright compared to everything else I own. The LEDs are very powerful. Coming around the side here, there's not really much other than a couple of vents and the third rail wires at the bottom. Got the logo for the sleeper service in the middle and then as we come on down it's pretty much just the exact same on the other side coming back around to the front so on top there's just a couple of cables and other bits and bobs of just stuck on plastic but other than that that's really about it for this logo and detail wise on the ex on the other side it's the exact same just without the vents there and the little i don't know what that is the little rectangle you can see there on the logo that's not on the other side but that's literally it for this loco it is it's basic but it's worth the money anyway now i'm going to give you a brief history on the loco designed in the 1990s the class 92 was originally designed to haul freight for the euro channel tunnel it was decided that they would have a similar body shape and bogey style as the class 60 but the loco would be much more advanced this caused the price to be nearly three million pound per loco with the first arriving in august 1993 the specific loco that my model is based on, 92i23, was built in June 1995 and was originally owned by SNCF. However, in 2014 it was bought out by Serco with help from Great British Rail Freight and was converted into the sleeper livery. Well, I hope you enjoyed the history of the Class 92 and that it wasn't too long. Um, I'm now going to put the loco on my setup. It's actually improved a bit since you've last seen it. Um, it can now run two trains, it's also got a level crossing and a station which um, you'll see in the running shot, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So then what do I think of Hornby's Class 92? It's fine, to be honest. It runs fine, it looks good. I haven't had a problem with it. Runs just as well as my 66. So the 66 will run at a slower speed, but obviously it's probably got a better motor in it because it costs a lot more. But um, yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll stop uploading a bit more recently again. 
And yeah, thank you for watching. And I might have another video out by the end of the week. So I'll see you in a bit.